Is Charlie D'Amelio really getting called out right now for vaping and hanging out with the Sway Boys? <gasps> hey loves, your girl is back as usual, but this time there's a lot of hot tea to spill. And when you thought Tony Lopez couldn't get any worse, he's now back again and had the audacity to give us some lame ass apology after tons of allegations that were made about him. In today's video, we're spilling the tea about fans calling out Charlie D'Amelio for hanging out with the Sway Boys and getting caught vaping, Bryce Hall's fans wishing death upon him and him regretting throwing his party, Tony Lopez finally apologizing for taking advantage of minors. Yeah. Today's recap is very juicy, y'all. So you better get yourself ready for it. I'm not sure why Charlie D'Amelio is receiving a lot of hate lately, but she's somehow now getting dragged for hanging out with the wrong People. You guys know the hate Charlie recently got for getting back together with her ex-boyfriend Chase Hudson, which caused a lot of chaos in the TikTok community. However, this time the hate went a bit over the limits after she decided not only to hang out with Chase, but with the Sway Boys as well. Charlie started receiving the hate after a TikTok video got posted by Noah Beck himself, where it seemed like he was hanging out with the Demelios and Chase Hudson. You're right, Bill. Because this shit is fucking ridiculous. Now, after the video was posted, the comment section started flooding with hate comments towards Charlie. Since, well, she decided to hang out with toxic people like Noah Beck, who has received a lot of hate on the daily recently for literally mocking feminine and gay men multiple times in his TikTok videos. It's wrong to hang out and support problematic people, but y'all making excuses for Charlie. She keeps doing this. I'm gonna have to unstand. Dear Charlie, we were rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. I have never in my life yelled at a girl like this. Charlie, I thought you knew better. It's okay to drop horrible friends. And guys, after this, people continued expressing their anger and confusion towards the situation in some TikTok videos as well. <laughs> And as if the hate couldn't get any worse after this, y'all, people then decided to drag Charlie even more by exposing her for a video that got leaked. To be more specific, it was a video of her vaping that got people really mad. The minute after this video started going around, many fans started defending Charlie, with some people claiming it was an anxiety pen. <laughs> Other people who own a vape claimed that she was actually vaping after seeing her holding a jewel in the video. Oh my god, this could turn out really bad. But anyways, loves, what's your opinion on Charlie getting called out and getting exposed for all of this? Do you think she deserves all the hate she's receiving? Let me know in the comments down below. Who would have thought that the party Bryce threw would become this problematic? But don't worry, guys. I'm not mad about it. At so we all know how the Sway House got their power and water shut off by the LA mayor. And well, since that happened, we didn't hear much about the Sway Boys. Until many people started suddenly trolling Bryce Hall by commenting RIP on his TikTok videos. And you guys, Bryce was not happy at all all and later clapped back by saying what's up with this trend saying i'm dead and won't be missed slash already forgotten wtf is wrong with some people hating someone is something but wishing death upon someone is never okay come on these comments can hurt anyone with that being said y'all many people didn't stop coming for bryce after this with some starting to dig up anything just to cancel him in fact Tons of pictures and videos of Bryce started spreading of him having a huge bruise on his back from his party. Oh, now nah, we gotta go? Later on, multiple people who allegedly attended the party later came forward and claimed that Bryce was held at gunpoint after a huge fight with a rapper. I was there when he had a gun pulled on him. Surprised it hasn't made the news yet. I just know from a few influencers telling me he started a fist fight and it turned into a brawl and then two guys pulled guns out on him and hit him a few times. The rumor is it was a rapper, not sure who it is, didn't ask further. <laughs> this is still not proven to be 100% true, but it honestly explains a lot. Anyways. After all of this, Bryce actually came forward and it admitted to the paparazzi that he regrets throwing his birthday party and that he deserves every ounce of the hate he's receiving. Bryce, yeah. can I ask you, man, do you regret the party now that they turned the power off? I regretted the party 
as soon as I threw the party. Is that right? Was not expecting that many people to come. It happened. Our power got shut off. I deserved it. Now I'm just facing the consequences. I saw something about a charity. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am donating to a charity. Did you ever speak to the mayor at all? <laughs> I would. I have no beef with the mayor. <laughs> but I challenged the mayor to a boxing match. That's good. <laughs> However, he also mentioned on Twitter that despite having a huge party, his test results for COVID-19 did turn out to be negative after he posted this. Anyways, loves, what's your opinion on people wishing death on Bryce? Let me know in the comments. I'm literally wondering why it took months for Tony Lopez to finally address all of the allegations that were made about him. But here we are. You guys know that Tony was exposed because he used to text minors and ask for their nudes on his private Snapchat. And well, now he has apologized and let's just say it was not it. Just want to come on here and as a young man, take accountability and responsibility for my actions and know that they were wrong. I have to understand this and learn from it, grow from it. I got to keep moving forward and learning and growing. You know, some people don't teach you about how to live this lifestyle or how to be here in this position, but I'm learning and I'm growing and uh, I'm just going to understand and learn and grow. But guys, his lame apology didn't even stop there. In fact, it got even worse. He then decided to post a statement talking about how he's trying his best to become the best version of himself, claiming that he regrets everything he's done in the past. Hey guys, I want to take a minute to address the recent accusations that have been made against me. I am not proud of my past choices and actions I have made, and I am truly disappointed in myself for them. I am still new to entertainment slash LA scene, and I am quickly learning that you can't believe everything that you are told. Once I found out the truth, I immediately stopped. I know these actions are not taken lightly and were extremely irresponsible of me. As a young man, I will hold myself responsible for this mistake rather than run from it. I will learn from it to help better educate myself for now and the future. I promise I will make better, well-informed decisions. As y'all can probably imagine, people were not happy at all with Tony's apology. In fact, Tony Lopez later started trending on Twitter as soon as he posted the statement, with many saying that his apology was bullshit. Reminder, if you weren't one of his victims, you can't accept this apology. Your behavior and lack of empathy is very telling. In no universe would this even remotely qualify as an apology. Deactivate, deplatform yourself. Go to jail. I mean, let's be real, y'all. The fact that it took Tony this long to address this is really concerning. But anyways, loves, what's your opinion on still receiving hate after addressing the allegations? Also, what did you think of today's recap? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you so much. 